We're now going to do another example of integration using cylindrical coordinates. So our example is to find the volume of the region which is above the paraboloid z equals x squared plus y squared and below the paraboloid z equals 36 minus 3 squared minus 3 y squared. So let's draw a sketch of this region. So the first paraboloid is a right side up paraboloid like this, z equals x squared plus y squared. And the second paraboloid is an upside down paraboloid because the coefficients of x squared and y squared are negative and the apex is where z equals 36, so it goes down from here, like that. So this is z equals 36 minus 3x squared minus 3y squared. This sort of looks from the picture like these are going to intersect in a horizontal circle, which we can check later is the case. Okay, so if we let E denote the region, then the volume of E, which we want to compute, is the triple integral over E of 1 with respect to volume. Okay, so how are we going to evaluate this integral? Well, it's going to be nicer if we use cylindrical coordinates. So let's convert to cylindrical. So what are these surfaces? So this upper surface is just z equals r squared. And this lower surface is where z equals 36 minus 3r squared. Okay, now to set up the limits of integration, we need to figure out what is the shadow of this region in the xy plane. So let's see. So it looks like the shadow is going to be a disk here. So how can we figure out what the shadow is? Well, <clears throat> the boundary of the shadow is the curve where these two surfaces meet. So the boundary of the shadow the shadow of the curve where the two surfaces meet. And where do the surfaces meet? Well, they meet or intersect when both of these equations hold, when z equals r squared and when z equals 36 minus 3 r squared. So they meet where z equals r squared is also equal to 36 minus 3r squared. Now these equations allow us to solve for r because they tell us that r squared equals 9 and so r equals 3. I mean we could also have r equals minus 3 but we can set up this integral without having to use negative values of r. So let's just take r equals 3. Okay so the shadow in the xy plane this is a disk of radius 3 centered at the origin. Okay, so now we can set up the integral for the volume. So the volume is the integral of, well, theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, because it's a disk, and r goes from 0 to the radius of the disk, which is 3. And now we just have to be a little bit careful about the z limits. So the z limits go from the lower surface to the upper surface. Now the lower surface is z equals r squared. I mean z equals r squared in general sort of looks like it's higher, but for the region that we're talking about, um, z equals r squared is the lower surface. It's the lower boundary of the region. So z starts at r squared, and it goes up to the other surface, which is where z equals 36 minus 3 r squared. Okay, so it's the lower boundary and the upper boundary. And the the fact that r is between 0 and 3 implies that the upper boundary is greater than or equal to the lower boundary, which is what we should get. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at the wrong integral and we're going to get a negative answer for the volume. Okay, and now we put in the, well, 1, and then there's the magnification factor r, 
times dz dr d theta. Okay, so now that we've got this integral set up, it's pretty easy to evaluate. So let's do the z integral. So the integrand is a constant here because r and theta are fixed. So I just have r times the upper limit minus the lower limit, um, which is 36 minus 4r squared dr d theta. Okay, now I integrate over r, so I have a 36r, which gives me an 18r squared. And then I have a 4r cubed, and the integral of that is r to the fourth. And I evaluate at r equals 3, then r equals 0, and then integrate with respect to theta. So putting r equals three in here, well, I get 18 times nine, which is 162 minus 81, so I get 81. And now since it's 81 is a constant to integrate over theta, I just multiply by two pi, so I get 162 pi. So as with the other example, you could do this using Cartesian coordinates and it would work, but it would be a lot messier.